just had gnarlier trails in most places and I remember like trying to take out beginners and you're like trying to think of an easy trail to take them on and none existed. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of goes to show like the trails that we grew up riding. We had a few pros and then a bunch of up and coming riders that were sending it super hard. It seemed like Nelson had like, a pretty good impact on the whole free ride mountain bike scene back then. Nelson's got it all without any of the big city stuff that he just doesn't need. And hence, he's living in Groman where he's even more isolated. So he loves fishing, hiking, biking. Well, that says a lot about Nelson, doesn't it? It's a special place. Yeah, she's looking beauty up river here. Uh, I grew up in six miles, so six miles up river, but now I'm down river in Groman Arrows. For me, it was always a dream to have jumps in my backyard. Garrett Bueller's dad had this property. We had asked him if we could build some jumps in the front yard, and he agreed to it. Built these jumps, and the Buellers were so hospitable to me, let me come and go as it was my place. And I absolutely fell in love with Groman and the lifestyle out here. There was another 10-acre parcel above Garrett's property, and it just flowed right into his yard perfect. Luckily, biking took me to a lot of places and seeing how different cultures live, just like the simplicity of how people do live and how happy they are, I think I could be totally happy in a little cabin. Usually go sweat it out, either dig it on the jumps or riding and then come down here and cool off. The line used to be like half as long, so double the walk back up, but oh, it's so worth it. I'm addicted to the airtime. If I gotta walk for it, I'll do it. <laughs> buried my heart in a hole Roll. in the ground. With the lights and the roses and the cowards downtown. They threw me a party, there was no one around. They tried to call my girl, but she could not be found. Having people like Kurt growing up influenced us big time because it showed us that just because we're from a small town doesn't mean you can't like get on a main stage. I think at Rampage at one point, like there's probably seven or eight people in the event from Nelson. Like it's crazy when you think about a town of 15,000 people. When I see So far, just me and Al have hit this one. It's definitely a squirrel catcher. First thing in the morning, he'd be gone. They would bike all day. He wouldn't come home until mostly when it got dark. That's when you could see Curtis coming through the door. <laughs> to this very day, he still has the same passion when he drops by to pick up something and yep I'm going out biking mom. What really like drives me and my passion for mountain biking these days is exploring and spending time in the mountains.
We got the million dollar view up here, the moon rising over here, sun setting. We're looking over at Kokanee Glacier, the Valhalla's back here, Vertalic Lodge is just back up in here, and then the Purcells are just off this way. This is home. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Whether it is like trying to pioneer new big lines or building big jumps, I still have that urge to go big and want to like see what's possible on a bike and being able to ride the jumps and just being comfy with big hits and then going up in the mountains trying to find big lines to ride and incorporate kind of just everything that you've learned over your whole life. Rolling. Yeah. Yo. 